The Nigerian Association of Chambers of Commerce, Industry, Mines and Agriculture Business Women Group, NAWOG, on Thursday, 11 April 2019, inaugurated new executive of Ogun State Chapter. The new executives are Mrs. Cynthia Saka, JP, an industrialist as coordinator, Alhaja Kilani Daud, first deputy coordinator, Mrs. Jumoke Akinlolu Okoya, second deputy coordinator, Mrs. Ibidumi Bakari, financial secretary, Ms. Temitokwe Kayode Adedeji, secretary, Mrs. Christy Kayode Ogun, assistant secretary, Balaji Olakpade, public relations officer, and Alhaja Fatimo Olaleye, treasurer. In her opening remarks, the newly elected coordinator, Mrs. Saka, said women have been able to impact their lives and economy positively and can achieve more while working together, pulling resources together, sharing experiences, and networking positively. Saka said Ogun State Chapter Nawog will impact in greatest measures on the lives and citizenry of Ogun State and contribute positively to development of Ogun State. Now what came to assistance to promote women as a mentor our youth, support women in this sense generally. We must therefore arise and take the goal by the own to actualize this issue. Women must, be, must get fully involved in knowledge acquisition, financial service, manufacturing, skill acquisition and capacity building and other promising measures that will involve and develop society. The global convener of Nawog, Yalode Alaba Lawson, in her speech, charged all newly elected executives to see their election to this leadership position in the group as a call to serve. Lawson pointed out that the launch of a new chapter in Ogun State is in recognition of the many industrious women in the state operating in different sectors of the economy, adding that this is a clear indication of the contributions of these women to the growth of the group and in pursuing the mandate of the group, which is to empower women to contribute to the economy, nation building, and women inclusion in decision making. That the launch of a new chapter of Nawog in Ogun State is in recognition of the many industrious women in Ogun State operating in different sectors of the economy. It is also a clear indication of the contribution of these women to the growth of Nawog and in pursuing the mandate of the group, which is to empower women to contribute to the economy, nation building, and women inclusion in decision making. Women decision. In decision making, we must get to that one. They must give us our quota. We must reach it. We are better managers. Our group aims are to safeguard the interests of women in business for the promotion of trade and industry. Ogun State Branch Manager of Bank of Industry, Babatunde Ajala, in his remarks said, the Bank of Industry will give adequate and necessary support to Ogun Nawog chapter, emphasizing that reproductive nature of women is a plus to the growth of the nation. You give a woman a house, she gives you a home. You give a woman groceries, she gives you a meal. You give a woman a smile, she gives you a heart. A man gives a woman or makes a deposit. Thank you. A man makes a deposit in the bank of life. The woman produces another life for the man. So what stops the bank from investing into a woman that all she does is reproduction, reproduction, reproduction. Bank of industry will give full and total support to Nawok. Other highlights of the inauguration and investiture of Ogun Nawok chapter include lectures and goodwill messages. Inaugural lectures were delivered by Professor Helen Bodunde of the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkota and Professor Mudupe Adelabu of National Bird for Technical Education. Professor Helen Bodunde of the Federal University of Agriculture at Belkota spoke on exploring opportunities in agribusiness, women on call. You must go for training. And anytime there is training, more than a time, even NGOs that happen to 
to be a member of NGO and CSO. Even when you want to organize programs for women, the first thing they will ask is that, what are you going to give us? Everything is not about cash. The knowledge that they are imparting or do when you translate it is more than the 5,000 or somebody will give to you. So when you have information, you have training, you have knowledge, you can use this to improve yourself. Professor Modukbe Adelabu of National Board for Technical Education spoke on becoming a woman entrepreneur, prospect and challenges. If you are not a family person, you can't be a successful entrepreneur. And being an entrepreneur, you need to be very careful in choosing your products. If there are so many uh, uh, soaps being uh, manufactured around, and you want to, you are, you are, you are bent on uh, uh, manufacturing soaps, what will be the difference in your own soul? Remember diligence, remember the sense, remember discipline. A lot of people think that being an entrepreneur will give you an open room to be just anything. No. This sense, discipline, diligence. They are the three things, three keys that will keep us back. The challenges are mostly man-made. There will be stress in your timing. There will be stress in your health. If the wife of Ogun State Governor, Dr. Mrs. Olufunsho Amosun, the grand patron of Nawog, in her address, congratulated the national president of Nasima, Yelode Alaba Lawson, and other members of the women group, saying women remain a strong force to be reckoned with in the business sector. Amosun also appreciated Nawog for considering her worthy for the honor noting that it was imperative for members to be united and continue to support one another to move the Nawog and the nation forward, particularly in the area of small and medium-scale businesses. We've watched over the years how Nasima Nawog has grown at the national level, has grown from strength to strength. And I believe that this is the right way forward for them to take it a few steps down, take it closer to the women in individual states. And I believe that is what is playing out today. Amosun, who said Nawog is a reputable business group that has served as a platform for women in business to improve on their entrepreneurial skills, commend the association for its efforts at improving the economic power of women nationwide. I would like to congratulate the Obu Nawaj that's being inaugurated here today because I believe that this exemplifies the sign of good things that will be happening in Ogun State. The president of Ogun Sima, Honorable Kolawali Lawal Mubolong Duro, congratulated the newly inaugurated executives stating that women are the backbone of agricultural produce in the economy and Nawog in Ogun State will provide more opportunities for them. He was represented by Mr. Akiola Lawson, the president of Abel Sima. For all women residents in Ogun State, Nawog provides another opportunity for women to avail themselves with multiple streams of opportunities at repositioning women of our dresses and beyond. Now, work with the state chapter, in line with our parent body, is poised to facilitate Oguna work as an organization that is initiated by our great leader, Yadodi Alaba Lawson, who has decided to take the road less trouble with the bold initiative to mobilize women across diverse borderlines in an effort to stimulate the spirit of enterprise and achieve the desired goal for women in Nigeria State. On behalf of the Executive Council and members of the State Chambers of Commerce, Industry Mines and Agriculture of Osima, as well as all the five city chambers in Ogun State, I wish you success at this inauguration. And Haji Tsunji Labode was decorated as patron and Chief Mrs. Adeshola Adebutu as matron. Both pledged their support to the growth and development of Oguna Work Chapter. The new executives, Mrs. Cynthia Saka, Coordinator Alhaja Kilani Dawood, First Deputy Coordinator, Mrs. Jumoke Akinlulu Okoya, Second Deputy Coordinator, Mrs. Ibidumi Bakare, Financial Secretary, Ms. Temitokwe Kaode Adedeji, Secretary, Mrs. Christy Kaode Ogun, Assistant Secretary, Balaji Olakpade, Public Relations Officer, and Alhaja Fatimo Olaleye, 
treasurer, members of Ogun Nawok chapter pledged their commitment to the values of Nawok.